Grace, it's Shell with Creative Shell Bear, and today I am going to do Media Morsel 13 and 14. I'm just going to combine them because I'm kind of behind, <laughs> and I have so much going on, I thought, you know, they would go so well together. So, what I'm going to do is it circles, and we're going to use some Q-tips or cotton swabs to make our little circles with. And I just put a, just a little bit of color on the um, my little paper plate here. Put a little bit of white. And we're just going to make circles out of these colors on our paper. The paper I'm using right now is dictionary paper, and it says circle in the center of it. And that's what Cat Hand used, and I picked up this dictionary for like 50 cents at a thrift store. And just for projects like this, I thought it would be really fun. So I dug that out, and I am now just going to use my Q-tips and fill this up with some circles. And when I finish the circles, I kind of cut it down to the size of my little um, size of my little book, so that you know I'm not doing a bunch of extras or anything. When I get done with my circles, I'll be right back. pretty good okay and so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna find something that's round and just kind of check around our little circles and make sure that it will totally or mostly um, cover the circle and we're gonna use some black paint and the black paint we're just going to dip our little circle in that okay so I'm just gonna set this down over here in my little palette I'm just going to kind of spread it out a little bit because I don't want it too thick. So I'm just make it pretty thin so we have a pretty thin layer all over. Just dip our little like that. Now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and use some Mod Podge, and I'm just going to glue my circles down.
that's dry, I'm just going to trim around the edges. And go ahead and save the little text and stuff that you have. Uh, you can always use that on a um, mosaic or collage or something like that. Be perfect for that. Just a touch right here. Okay, and this is mixed media morsel. 13 and mixed media morsel 14 is borders. What I thought would be fun is to do um, circles around the edges. So let me go get my um, circle punch and for my um, circles going around the edges, I'm just going to use some of this um, jelly print that I made earlier. I really like the colors and I thought that would be kind of fun to bring them in together. So I'm just going to punch out a bunch of circles and then I'm going to Mod Podge them down as a border. that pretty I really like this okay so now the fun part is you can so the uh, circles again were mixed media 13 the border comes from mixed media 14 and I just put them together um, now's the time you can put words on it if you want to you can do some drawing you can do whatever you'd like Okay, and I have the words make creations. I think that's really cute. So I'm going to go ahead and mod podge that down. is Mixed Media Morsels 13 and 14 as inspired by Cat Hand and again I'll put her link below hope you guys really enjoyed this it was a lot of fun um, I've kind of been 
veering off from the mixed media morsels because I have so much else going on, but I wanted to get caught up. So thank you guys so much for watching and you guys have a great day.